Welcome to Fire Virgo Tarot. I am a tarot reader and intuitive. Shout out to all my lovely Fire Virgos. So Virgo, um, I got overall energy for this reading between you and your person, right? So um, I don't feel like you're giving any second chances. We're not doling out second chances, beloved. <laughs> okay, with the Grim Reaper here. Now, this is only going to resonate with a couple people, um, what I'm about to say. But someone has a very skeletal face or it's extremely angular. Like they could model, but not really. <laughs> okay. Um, but there's also another energy where you feel like it's time for you to grow from this. Like how long are you going to stay in this in it bear no fruit Virg. like I feel like that's the that's the questions you're starting to ask yourself we also have not today as the overall energy for this reading which talks about not dealing you're uh, avoiding a conversation you're still angry and I feel like your person shares that same sentiment right there's still some anger around you too both you guys don't want to deal with it right now and I feel like you Virgo you're just like you know what if it's done it's done no problem okay Libra energy with the Empress here I feel like you have this vibe to you and we Virg Every like many of your readings I've been getting 111 on the timer. So this is definitely going to resonate with some of you guys. But with the readings you've been getting, I feel like there's a newfound confidence in you. You may not even see it, though, because you're such a perfectionist. You feel like, oh, my gosh, if it doesn't look like this or if it's not exactly like that, you don't count it. But Virgo, count this because I feel like you've been exercising boundaries better than you have. No, you're not perfect, but you but you've done it a lot better. Otherwise, the Empress would not be coming out for you, Virgo. Like, take that. So this this is a Virgo who is like, no, nah, I'm giving you your flowers, Virgo. Like you've done a fantastic job trying to rid yourself of this person or limiting beliefs or whatever this is, because I just feel like you're, you're just not dealing with something here. You could also have somebody new looking at you. All right. Could be a younger fire sign. Doesn't have to be. But they're very um, they're very open toward you. All right. But let's let's see what your overall energy is, Virgo. Then I'm going to get into this person. What is my Virgo's overall energy with the situation? The hermit <laughs> Virgo said, what situation? I don't have a situation here, Alyssa. All right. Because with the hermit card, this is like the hermit gets ghost out of anybody in the deck. The hermit will go ghost. And with the quickness, I feel like Virg hermit mode is is our safe space, right? Like we go into hermit mode and we come out beast because we've done so much inner work, so much inner healing. So anytime this is your first energy, I already know like you about to be on some shit like you just are. What is this? And it's necessary. Yep. Like I said, five of swords. You see how like this person is looking back toward the past like, damn, like, you know, like, yeah, I lost some things. I might have lost that battle, but I did not lose that war because this person is still smiling as they're moving forward because you still got your stuff with you. You still have most of the Virgo is intact. And I feel like you're moving on. All right, you're moving on. I feel like whoever this person is is not going to appreciate the Virgo just up and leaving or the Virgo just moving on. Some of you guys are getting out of hermit mode, though. Like, you might have been feeling like you don't want to go um, socialize. You could be getting invited someplace. You're like, nah, I'm cool. But I feel like you're going to be coming into, um, especially like uh, next week, Virgo. I don't know what's significant about next week. Let me know down below. But I feel like you're going to be more open to like, you know, going out and doing things you wouldn't usually do. All right, wow. Queen of Cups, Virgo. The love that you have for yourself has superseded any type of love you can give to anybody else. And I feel like that's the ultimate flex, like a glow up or having to ghost somebody or cursing somebody out. No, like you realizing that you are your biggest asset is the ultimate flex here. And with the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're walking into um, you're walking into a situation where love is love is the theme of what you're walking into. Like you're just. Well, I don't think you knew that you were walking into this, though. What is this? Let me get a truth card. What is this? What is my Virgo walking into? And it's like unbeknownst to you. Okay. We don't pull the attraction card, Virg. All right, so I feel like you you may not be sure why you're taking steps you're taking or why you feel the way you feel. I feel like you're really in a... A really strange energy. You might not be even knowing like how you feel. Some days you're up, some days you're down. You're like, damn, I don't even know why I'm happy right now. I don't even know why I'm sad right now. But you're you're being drawn to a situation that is going to have a lot of love in it here, Virg. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Ooh, whoa, Virgo. Yeah. You have a lot going on. Um, and you may not really <laughs> look. The high priestess is quiet, right? Like you may not be able, you may not even be realizing what you're walking into at this time. I would say walking into the fool don't know what the hell they walking into. First of all, the eyes closed and you're about to walk off a cliff, but you like, F it, I'm going right. Like I don't have much. 
I don't have much to bring with me. I'm packing light. I'm moving forward. So yeah, there's a lot of confirmation all throughout this reading here, Virgo. Wow. You could be dealing with the Taurus or you're going to be dealing with a Taurus or another Virgo. Um, definitely a lot of earth, a lot of grounding energy here, Virg. But with the uh, four of wands, the 11-11 card and the Hierophant, look what you're walking into. You're walking, Virg, you're walking into a whole relationship. <laughs> now, if some of you guys watch me uh, regularly, you know that I was like, Virg, I feel like you're going to have a little fling or a little boo thing that you get tired of before your main relationship comes in with the person that you're going to be with for a minute. This is what this feels like because the four of wands going to the Hierophant is a graduation. Like you, you're, com you're committing or there's conversations about committing with someone because you both see the potential for love. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. Oh, okay. Nine of wands. Came. This person is sure. Okay. All that juggling, all that. Mm, I don't know if I want to settle down. I don't know this. I don't, uh, uh. That's all quiet. So I feel like you're walking into a relationship with somebody here, Virg. You might have had a, um, an inkling of that uh, in the month of September as well. Something about the month of September. Obviously, we're Virgo, so many of us, um, even our birthdays, are doing that month. But with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, this is somebody that is decided about you. They don't, they don't take a long time to figure out if they want you. I don't think they're hot and heavy, but they don't, they're not that kind of person where it's like, oh, I need time or I need to figure this out. It's like, no, once I see the Virgo, I already know what's up. Um, I feel like whoever you're dealing with though, Virgo is going to have a problem with this. What is this? Yeah. It could be it could be that Scorpio or that Capricorn. Does not have to be, but I feel like you dropped them like a bad habit. Somebody's dealing with a Geminian as well, because um, with the Death card at the bottom of the deck. Listen, Virgo, your person, whoever the person is that you've been dealing with, you got to take it as it resonates, because you're at this energy is like, you got a lot going on, Virg. Whoever this person is that you ended things with or you guys aren't talking, there's still a little anger in the air, a little static in the air. They're feeling like you left them behind and they're they're spot on. Right. Because with the Queen of Pentacles, this is them viewing you as somebody who wants stability, as somebody who is ready for that. And it's like you're going to be very stingy about your pentacle. I don't feel like you're offering this person love as much. You're not calling them as much. Um I also feel like Virgo, this could only resonate with a couple people, but when you guys had certain, um, a certain conversation, stability was brought up and you said it in jest or you said it in a way like, well, if we were together, X, Y, Z wouldn't happen. Or if you would have did this when you said you would X, Y, Z, it was almost like a, a spiteful thing, but it was very quick. It was very, you know, maybe one or a, a one or two liner here. And you said that and you knew it would bother your person before you left them or before you kind of went on this little hiatus of not talking to them, not really hearing them. I feel like I feel like you don't you don't listen to this person. This person does not listen to you. You guys don't have equal communication. There's a lot of hurt and a lot of anger. What's what's the hurt stemming from with this relationship? With my Virgo, whoever this past person is, that's trying to show up. What is all this hurt? Bottom of the deck, codependency could have been a toxic situation where somebody didn't really have much to offer. And you realize that after you were already invested, Berg, right? Like, how can you leave somebody after you're already invested? It becomes a lot more difficult. So I feel like after you put your all your eggs in one basket, you're like, well, God damn. I don't even think you got a basket on you. So I feel like there were certain things about this person that you realize after the fact. And you started to think too, like, this person could have acted like they had a lot of money and really they didn't. Like you actually have more money than them or you're more stable than them. Maybe stable by the mind, um, stable by your plans, right? Like there's something off about this past person or whoever this person is that, that you're angry with and is angry with you. Okay, Virgo, you got a lot. You got a lot. Yeah, the sun card. A lot of realizations, a lot of clarity are coming in, but I feel like your happiest days are ahead of you and you're not seeing that either. Right. I also feel like this person wants to make something clear. You might have thought uh, Virg, for some of you guys that they weren't uh, attracted to you anymore or that they no longer wanted you. You uh, this past person and they and that couldn't be further from the truth. This person is very attracted to you. Um, and I think everybody else sees it, but you don't or it's obvious to them, but it's not obvious to you. What is this? All right, you might think because they have a lot of options or because they never committed to you that you weren't good enough or that you're not pretty enough or something like that. You're not handsome enough. But listen, Virgo and your looks never, never been the goddamn problem. Let's be very clear. And I'm talking to the um, right, right. I'm talking to the divine feminine right now. Um, 
we are the only zodiac sign that is represented by a woman. Like, <laughs> let's have a moment of silence for that. Do you understand the level of femininity, the level of majesty, the level of empress that you got to be to be the only one represented by actual human and a, a divine feminine at that? So Virgo, don't ever sleep on yourself. We're not doing that. We're leaving that. Uh, -uh. We're leaving that exactly where it is in the trash. All right. Because with hurting right here, your person's actually hurt that you can move on or they're hurt that you're entertaining other people or that you're open to it. Because I just feel like you're giving them the cold shoulder. Tell me more about this newer person. You're definitely not, for many of you guys, you're definitely not in contact with this past person. With no contact, cheating and deception. They could have lied about some things. Perhaps cheated if you weren't in a higher commitment with them here, Virg. Yeah, oh my gosh, I just said lied. I split the deck. I don't be, like, listen, I need y'all to understand, like, spirit is all the way tapped in. Right? As I split the deck, we got lies right here. So, yeah. Um, I feel like you needed that, though, Virg, is what I'm hearing. Like, you needed that. You needed to see that they weren't choosing you or something. All right. Give me more here on this person's energy. I feel like this person misses you. Yeah, but they're quiet about it. They don't want you to know. They're trying to really like, it could be a Pisces or a Leo that you're dealing with. They don't want you to know. They're they're hurting and silent. They're, they're hurting in silence. They're hoping that you reach out to them here, Virgo. I feel like they also do petty things to try to get you to contact them. I don't know what that is, but I'm getting petty vibes from your person. Okay, give me more. What do they want from my Virgo then? What the hell do they want? They want you to go back to how you were. They want things back the same. And you're like, back when I wasn't getting shit and was, uh, you know, all invested in this person, I can't go back to that, beloved. Right? But that's what they want. Mm-hmm. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, Virg, in their mind, you're too slow with it. You're way too slow with it. They feel like at this point or at this point in the breakup or this point in the silence, you should have already come to them. You're moving way too slow for comfort. They like when you're predictable. They like when you're still around. They like when you're still on them, but you're not. I feel like, Virgo, you're moving on. And listen, this is for a couple of you guys. Sometimes you're like, yeah, I want new, but you really wish that 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 this person would get their um stuff together but for many of you guys what you don't realize you are actually walking into something new where like love is just magnetic there this past person is going to want a second chance though yeah six of all uh, cups at the bottom of the deck that's the reconciliation energy or the potential for one what is this why is the seven of pentacles here i don't know you very we listen you're the Empress. The Hem card is my Emperor card of my truth deck, right? Ooh, he's so fine. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Okay. So you walk in, like, whoever this is, you walking into somebody, take the gender that resonates, you're walking into somebody way finer, not even to be on no vein type of time, Berg, but listen, now, let's call, we gonna call a spade a spade on this here channel. Because with surprise, I feel like you're gonna be shook, okay? You're gonna be shook to your damn core. Because you're gonna think, like, well, this past person, we have a lot of history and we shared this. They know this about me. I don't want to get to know somebody new. What if it's easy, Berg? Like, what if it's easy? Like, I feel like there's there's a surprise like in, st in store for you. Your ancestors, you're being guided to something that's going to be much for more fulfilling to you. And you don't even know it. Like, you don't even know it. And this person over here looking for you, both of them. <laughs> I just got both of them, your past person and your, um, and this newer person. This newer person is not satisfied with nobody from their past. They don't have baggage. And this, uh, past person right here, the ones who you were mostly friends with benefit is looking for you and other people. Yeah. The damn catfish, the one who acted a certain way and they weren't right. Them. we have the fallen in love card. Oh Lord. And I love you. Okay. Virg, you got a lot of love that's coming in for you. And I feel like this past person is realizing their emotions a bit too late. But I'm going to go into the extended. I'm going to overturn these cards. See what, see what the next steps are. See what's coming in toward you that you do not see as well as outcomes. So I will be shifting between old and new. So if you are interested, Virg, everything is down below in the description to the extended. See you in a minute.